This was a video that was difficult to title, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a very long one, wasn't sure how to explain this, but basically, if you've ever were trying to put warp stabilizer on a clip in Premiere that you've changed the speed for, or you've tried to reverse it, you'll know that Premiere doesn't let you do this as of January, 2021. But have no fear, because I have a workaround that I use constantly. My name is Matt Zeffi, be sure to smash that like button, and let's jump into Premiere. All right, let's get this started. So I have this beach clip. It is from the beaches of Florida. Yes, very nice, quite like it. Anyhow, I want to basically speed it up and also get rid of some of the micro jitters. I took this on a drone and I'm also going to reverse the speed so that it's going forward. Obviously the direction of the waves might look a little off, but I'm not even sure you'll be able to tell Anyhow, I'm going to drop the clip down here. And I'm going to hit the time stretch button, which is right here. And I'm going to reverse it. Like, I don't think you could tell. Can you tell? I don't know. Barely. I think because you're further out, you can't really tell. Anyhow, if I go to put my warp stabilizer effect on here. Obviously we get this error. Warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is nest it. Nests can be used for a multitude of different things. I wish they let you, I wish they auto named it based on what the clip was named. I'm just going to duplicate what the clip was named and call it a nest. Nests basically make a sequence out of the clip. And as you can see, we don't have the speed effect on here anymore. It's actually within the nest. So I have to double click the nest and it'll open up the nest, kind of like opening up a sequence. So if I had to make any changes to the speed change, or if I wanted to reverse it back, I would have to come into the nerd, I would have to come into the nest like I just did so let's come back to the top layer right here. Now if I apply the warp stabilizer effect to this nest, as you can see, it starts to go through the analyzation process. Once it's done and everything's complete, I dropped a, a quick color correction on here and a grade, and I added a little bit of music. Uh, I ended up not doing the reverse effect just because I felt like you could tell about the waves. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is a fairly quick process in Premiere, a fairly quick workaround, and thankfully, because we shouldn't have to do it anyways. I do imagine Premiere will probably fix this or do some kind of feature around it so that you don't have to go through these steps, but I will say it's helpful to know how to do this, how to do this workaround so that you can troubleshoot other errors when you come across them in Premiere, which you will. If you got anything out of this video, consider subscribing and turning those notifications on. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.